What's up, pirates? It's Adam from Scott's TCG here bringing you something new. That's right, the One Piece card game is launching on the 2nd of December and I have managed to get a hold of some of the first edition pre-release decks. So I'll be opening those up on the channel this week and just talking through the decks themselves. Today we're going to be starting off with, with the Straw Hat crew, with Luffy's crew. Um, now I don't know a lot about One Piece, I haven't really watched it or read it, so I'm not the best person when it comes to lore. Um, I am hoping to feature people on this channel that do know a bit more about the lore and stuff like that, so they can talk about it. Um, but I think that the card game is super fun. I was recently at an event in Newcastle for the One Piece launch, um, and while I couldn't buy any of these decks myself, uh, one of my friends picked some up for me when they were playing in the super pre-release event, so uh, they are a wonderful person and I'm, I'm super appreciative of them. Um, not naming names just in case they don't want to be named. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start off by cracking open the uh, Straw Hat Crew deck today. And then I've got the rest of them um, uh, sitting off to the side of me that I will be recording videos on and uh, opening uh, very shortly. So the decks are very small. Like this is the size of my hand. Um, and this is the size of the deck compared to it. Um, it contains just the deck, no padding or packaging. Um, it's kept safe and secure inside this box. So here we have the sort of deck itself. So let's let's just start going through the cards. Get this plastic sleeve off. Alrighty, so as you know, um, or maybe you don't know. So in the One, One Piece card game, you have a resource system called Dawn of which there are 10 so we can see the leader here um, and this is your resource system so you get 10 of each dawn card and on your turn they give you plus 1k power it's very similar to uh, to Digimon that you can buff your guys with uh, additional power and stuff like that but it works slightly differently we'll be running matches uh, on this channel and um, so you'll be able to see how it works from there the people that are watching this are probably people interested in the things so we've got 10 super pre-release stamped dawn cards so very nice those are the most basic off to the side we have our leader card so this is luffy the leader of the straw hat crew um, your leader has 5000 power and five life. Life is what the sort of, if you're coming over from Digimon content, life is like your security. You're, you have to declare attacks against your opponent and when they have no life left, that's when you win the game if they can't block or counter. Um, so again, a very nice, very shiny card. Very holographic and again, super pre-release stamped. By cracking open these boxes, I've taken the value down, down from quite a lot to still a lot, but not as much. So that is our leader. Set him off to the side here. And let's just go through the deck to see what you get. So you get one, two copies of the SR Rush Luffy. So much like Digimon, uh, this card can attack on the turn that it's played. And when you give it two Dawn cards, uh, you get the special effect of when attacking your opponent cannot activate blocker. So this is a good finisher for game. You have two copies of Roanoa Zoro which uh, doesn't have rush but on giving it a dawn it gets an additional 1k power so you can make it up to 7k and you get two of those you get one two three four copies of Usopp dawn two when attacking you can't activate blocker that has 5k or more power and it's trigger effect so when you attack a person's life and they take the life card to their hand, they can choose to trigger anything that has a trigger on it, on it um, and play it out onto the field or activate its effect. Sort of like an option card or a security card if you're coming over from Digimon. We've got four Karoo, a one cost vanilla that is 3k. Um, not really played too much, it's taken out once the, the actual decks accepts to launch. Four copies of Sanji with a Rush, very nice four copies of Jinbei which uh, when it's attacking it can boost other characters or leaders on the field no just characters sorry my mistake four copies of Tony Tony Chopper he's your one cost blocker 
very good. You slap him down for a one cost on and you get immediate value out of it so he can block attacks. Four copies of Nami. Nami helps you ramp up your power and deliver more devastating blows, so super good. Four copies of Nico Robin. Again, she's just a, a vanilla, but she is a 5k attacker, so she can get things going a lot easier. Four copies of Niffletari Vivi. Again, four cost counter, two cost to play, so you can play this early game for some value. Four copies of four cost 6k Frankie. He can swing over things very easily, but again, he's a vanilla. A lot of these starter decks are vanilla cards, so once the new set comes out, you want to replace them with things that have effects, much like Digimon. Two copies of Brook on play give up to two Rested Dawn to one of your leaders or characters. Super good, that's why he's only a two of. Guard Point. This is your counter card that gives your leader plus 3k. In order to use a counter, you have to have the Dawn uh, available to rest. Two copies of Gum Gum Jet Pistol. KO one of your opponent's characters with six k or less. Again, very good. Two copies of Diablo Jambi. Um, and it means that you give them and they can't be blocked essentially. And two copies of Thousand Sunny, one of the only stage cards in the game at the moment. You need to run four of these in your deck. So of course the best way to run this deck is to buy two of them and put together the good cards and take out the bad ones. Or the not as useful ones rather. So you want four copies of Thousand Sunny, absolutely. I keep punching my tripod, I do apologise about that. That shouldn't be the case. Um, let me just nudge it forward slightly here. Oh. Sorry, there we go. And yeah, that's the starter deck, so let me just zoom out. And you do get copies of how to actually play the game as well, much like they they done in the original Digimon decks as well. Um, so yeah, I am super, let me just put it back in order. Uh, I am super pleased to get these uh, decks, I'm super happy. Um, I wasn't able to get any of the original pre-release decks because I was judging the London Digimon regionals. So again, shout out to my friend who very, very kindly gave me his set that he got from the Super pre-release. I cannot thank you enough. Um, I've been really wanting to get a copy of these. Not to sell, like for the, the One Piece fans in the chat that are looking forward to it, you know how much these sell for. I have no interest in selling them. I just want to keep them for myself and try and just, just keep them because they might be cool um, later in life and all that sort of thing. Um, and then obviously play them in the decks. I don't think I'll be playing Red Luffy, at least not for a while, because the starter decks aren't the best. Um, I'm going to be playing the Croc deck for, for at least a set, a set or two, I think, because I really like the Croc. No, not Croc, sorry, Kid. Eustace Kid, the green starter deck. But more vid a video will be coming on him much later on. So, you've got your leader, you've got your deck of 50, and you've got your stamped done. So, very nice. And yeah, that will leave us... Um, at the end of the video. Last thing I'm going to mention is that if you've attended any of the events, you may have received the promotional pack. Um, so obviously I've, I've ripped into this one. So what you might get, you'll get five of these cards, one for each deck and then two for the red deck. You definitely want to put Monkey D. Luffy and I Smell Adventure ahead into your red deck because both of these are very, very good cards. This is a shuffle uh, redraw, which it's not in Digimon, uh, as we all know. It's only in things like Pokemon, etc. So this needs to be in your deck. And Monk, uh, this Luffy card as well, to give it Rush, is also super strong. But yeah, that's going to do it for the first starter deck opening, guys. I have the rest of them um, sitting ready. So I'm going to be opening up those soon. One video a week for the channel. Um, not one video a week. One video each day this week covering each of the decks. And then hopefully I get my boxes for One Piece very soon and we can get those opened up as well. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will get a One Piece mat eventually, but for now you've still got Crusadermon um, watching over the pools. But yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now and have a wonderful day. See you later.